हेलो एवरी वन सो गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रेप सो गाइज टूडे वी आर हेयर फॉर ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन सो टूडे मी एंड जोशित सर एंड वी विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट हाउ टू गेट एडमिशन इन टू फॉरन यूनिवर्सिटीज थ्रू गेट स्कोर यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड दिस थिंग मेनी टाइम्स फ्रॉम यूर मेंटर्स फ्रॉम मेनी अदर सीनियर्स दैट येस यू कैन गेट एडमिशन इन टू फॉरन यूनिवर्सिटीज फ्रॉम द गेट स्कोर बट यू मे नॉट बी हैविंग द टोटल इन्फॉर्मेशन वेन and how to proceed and uh, what kind of gate scores are required what is the procedure what are the fees what are the scholarship each and everything today me and joshi sir would be telling you in this wonderful session so joshi sir over to you yes thank you so much sir so yes uh, there are a lot of students who actually wants to go to some uh, foreign university and uh, they are very good with technical but they are not very good with the examination like gre and also so i think this is the very good opportunity for all those students who are good at technical knowledge so based on the gate score there are universities which are going to take your admission in their research programs and master programs today as sir has told you already we'll be talking about all of them in depth with everything and also we will tell you something which a uh, lot of people are not telling you and that is actually one of the most important thing which generally people are forgetting about and guys so, yes, that sir. is the thing that is the thing which makes uh, byju's exam prep special yes. because we are coming up with most authentic information to all of you and you can totally rely on these types of videos correct sir so let's uh, start with the i think start karte hain yes, yes yes sir and uh, let me tell you guys one more thing about this uh, free workshop is also going to come Okay, so uh, this is the uh, Rakesh Talija sir for you, which is twelve thirty, and that is on Sunday, twenty sixth March, where he'll be telling you detailed one year preparation strategy for Gate two thousand and twenty four. And let's get directly to the video yes. of today's uh, topic. Yes. So please. Uh, so first of all, guys, I would be telling you what are those universities which are going to take uh, with the Gate score. All universities are not taking, obviously. So these are four universities. One is National University of Singapore. Other is Nanyang Technological University, and other two are from the Germany. And you can see their ranking. Uh, World University ranking 2021 are there. Uh, that is for 22 actually. Hmm. So if you are talking about these ranking, so 11th rank uh, that is for NUS, 19th is for NTU, 49 is for Technical University of. Uh, Munich and 147 is for RWTH yes. Asian University. So, guys, these rankings for some of the 11 and 19, you can say they are better than even IITs also. Hmm. So, definitely they are going to be one of the best option if you are looking for a foreign university for uh, admissions for master programs. Right, sir. Uh, I'll tell you one more thing about uh, these rankings. That uh, remember, there are a lot of students who actually go to Canada. and uh, they take the admission in the colleges and let me tell you the ranking of those colleges is even worse than some private college of india also right so here i think uh, this is i think having an admission in foreign university is a good thing and above that those universities are very good for you based on the ranking we can uh, clearly say that right to isse hi bol sakte ho aap ki bhai ye to achhi cheez pe aur ek achhi cheez ho gayi to aapko koi validation ki zarurat nahi hai whether you are in a good university or you are compromising with something else and sir i feel ki ye jo ranking sir they must be given as per the uh, placement scenario and also based on the research, research ability and what kind of research scholars are coming from right, that university right so definitely it tells you overall quality of that institute that whether you shall go for this or not right. so moving further guys uh, sir please yes so uh, let's talk about now university by university let's take the first one that is nanyang technology uh, technological university program jo offer kiya jayega aapko the program which we, uh, they are offering is ms it will be of 1 to 3 years it is not like uh, india where we have fixed 2 years and uh, you just have to you know sir for 2 years you have to just complete your course work in one year and second year you have to write the thesis एमएस में होता है दैट इट इज मोर रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड दैट इज द रीजन वाई यू हैव टू बी देयर फॉर वन टू थ्री इयर्स और मे बी मोर इफ योर रिसर्च इज नॉट कंप्लीटेड येट एंड पी एच डी टू टू फाइव एज इंडिया यू ऑल नो कट ऑफ इज नाइंटी परसेंट आइल तो हियर डू यू डोंट हैव एनी स्कोर्स इन ऑल एंड नाइंटी परसेंट आइल इज यू नो नथिंग ठीक है आप इजिली यू वुड बी हैविंग द नाइंटी परसेंट आइल एंड जी आर ई कट ऑफ इज एक्चुअली हियर इफ यू डोंट हैव गेट then you have to go for gre but since you guys have the gate score 
you don't need the GRE, right? But yes, there are some exams other than GATE also which will be required. We'll be talking about them as well in the later part of the video. Yes, uh, I would also like to add like 90 percentile many students may be uh, getting confused because generally students do not uh, differentiate between percentage and percentile also. Right, sir. So even I would like to say if, if you are in top 10 percent of the student, it means your percentile is going to be 90. Hmm. Means if you are getting 40 marks in GATE, I feel you would be in 90 percentile. Yes. Where you may not get even NIT is uh, good NIT but you will be able to get these colleges that is right. the advantage uh, right. so, so low score uh, college mein you are getting university having rank 11 19 so that's yes. a good thing. and that also world ranking Haan, yes world ranking so right. uh, guys these are the uh, schools where they are taking the admissions okay and the first one you can see is for material science then they're having civil and environment science then they have computer engineering electrical and electronics then material science and engineering uh, and mechanical and aerospace so these are the schools where you get admissions into in this university uh -huh. and next part sir that is uh, very important yes so uh, this is uh, a screenshot directly from uh, the university that is singapore ntu university jiske bare hum baat kar and here we have all the things that are required so the point to be noted here are few points such as that uh, applicants from overseas universities like you guys which are from India for you uh, the basic thing is required is your bachelor's degree only but yes there is something else which is mentioned over here and that is uh, yeah all applicants from universities in India must have first class honors for the relevant bachelor's degree so that's okay but comes to the second point that is all applicants from overseas university must provide GRE and TOEFL. Ye to kisi ne bataya nahi. What is TOEFL? Hum bata denge. We'll tell you each and everything about TOEFL also in the same video. And applicants from India may use. Dekh rahe ho. Pure Brahmand. Bala puri dunia mein se. Only India is having this particular thing. Right? Apart from all the. Bala dousre jo desh te unke saamne. Applicants from India may use GATE. To replace GRE, IELTS may be used in place of TOEFL. So, ya to TOEFL dena apne or IELTS you have to give. What is TOEFL? What is IELTS? We'll talk in the later part of the video only. Yes, uh, I feel many students would be having an idea about this now hmm. because generally this part is no one is telling they feel just if you have qualified gate you can go there. <laughs> so guys, the things are not like that. Now we are telling you about the scholarships like uh, NTU Singapore uh, also gives the scholarship uh, to the aspirant but for that you need to show some uh, over performance uh, like uh, your academic should be good when you are going to enter into MS and for that you can see uh, we are talking about international students because you will be international when you will be going mm. there. So these are the scholarship you will be getting for masters and PhD respectively and for that definitely uh, they have also mentioned that student must perform teaching or laboratory supervision duties. It is similar to like when you are going to NITs and IITs you get 12,400 for that you also have to give service 8 hours a week. Uh, to your guides uh, na, whenever your guides are allotted to you and those 8 hours either you will be going to the classes or you mm. will be going to the laboratories so the same thing is here also okay so let's let's and, and one thing on this screen I'll tell you yes. uh, if you don't know don't be so happy uh, about this thing that this is dollar this is not US dollar <laughs> this is Singaporean dollar yes. so conversion it is different yeah though it is also a big amount but yes, still yes. Huge you, you, can, you can multiply it with uh, more than 60 still I will say yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so whenever you are watching this video us time ka jo conversion rate hai, you can use that yes when we can apply so we can apply it twice a year in india we have this thing for phd when there is this two type of sessions that uh, in which admissions are taken place by the iits and other colleges similarly here you have two times when you can uh, get the admission one is in august and one in january so for you i think august is the nearest one when you can apply and if you are thinking that you are not prepared yet so you can go for january admission as well Yes, uh, so now we are talking about the fees. Yes, so it is per annum 8 to 12 lakhs is there you can see and we have also taken these information from the website directly and that is why we are uh, we have also taken some screenshot directly so mm. that you get an idea that we are talking with the authenticity. Genuine, huh? Genuine yes. details. So this next is NUS sir please. Sir, NUS again uh, the admission requirements if you see bachelor's right 4 degree uh, or a 4 degree bachelor's degree jo aap sabko pata hai, that you are having. 
a candidate whose medium of undergraduate instruction is not English is required to submit TOEFL with the minimum score of 85 for the internet based test or IELTS with the minimum score of 6. Now what is 6 or 85 that will tell you scores. A candidate whose bachelor's master degree is not from Singapore will be required to submit GRE and 3.5 analytical writing or 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 yes yahan pe end hai but yahan pe ek aur hai that you should be having gate with again minimum 90% aur ye percentile hi ho gaya basically percentile hi hai right sir so, so ye one, same hi hoga sir basically na requirement Haan. to requirement is 90 ka. exactly hmm. uh, 90 percentile agar hai then student can uh, have 90 percent uh, gate mein and apart from that either uh, toefl or either ielts right uska bhi cut off likha hua hai how much uh, in ielts and how much in TOEFL. So, this is universally standard. Hai. If you are going for a student visa, then this is minimum. Hai. Maximum is 9. 9 is open. Hai. Just say like gate is for 100 marks. Na. So, this uh, IELTS is for 9 marks. I mean, 9 band hai basically there. We'll talk more about it. Sir. Yes. Uh, and here you can apply in mid of October. So, generally in mid of October, uh, they are going to show you. And this is about the fee structure. Once again, the screenshot from their website only you can see uh, fees payable um, uh, that is okay uh, for different, different students. students yes for international students you can see these are the fees With for various various programs you can check okay mm. so Singapore citizen permanent then international they have mentioned this, this, this is you yes and this is Singapore dollar this is not in rupees huh. so you can convert that we are not telling you because conversion rate definitely varies every day so you can uh, definitely mm. see that uh, this is very important. Uh, why we are not converting it in rupees? Because we don't know when you are watching this video. So, whenever you are watching, just convert it. Yes. Uh, now, coming to the next, uh, Germany. Yes. So, here we have Technical University of Munich. Means we are in Germany now. And faculty of, so these are the departments that you are having. Faculty of Mechanical, Faculty of Civil and Surveying, Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Informative Technology. So, these are the departments available in the German University. That is your Technical University of Munich. Annual fees is 500 euros. Bahan pe euro chalta hai toh fair 500 euro ho gaya aapke. Yes. Right. And uh, sir, let's move to the next slide. Uh, yeah. So, this is the another university. The HN University. Again in Germany. And again these are the departments. Applied Geophysics, Automotive Engineering, Biomedical, Electrical, IT, Computer Engineering. And then Media Information and Metallurgical Engineering. Civil I guess right, Hmm. Civil yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, I would like to add, sir, here one thing that if you see, uh, talk about the feces, feces are comparatively lesser if you will convert in INR in Germany. And generally, people are saying it is uh, going to be more economical than Singapore also when you are going to live there. Hmm. Uh, but other things are also there. Generally, students are going for some of the part time jobs also, and also uh, scholarships are available. Uh, in Germany, even you will be getting the scholarship which would be slightly more than your fees, whatever you will be paying. So, that also is going to be an advantage. So, if you compare in the terms of money, Germany is going to be better, obviously. But ranking, you have seen Singapore, both universities are under 20, which are better than IITs as well. Right. So, also that you need to take care of, sir. Right. Uh, yes, so now coming to the point uh, which we were mentioning earlier also, like what is IELTS and what is TOEFL? So we'll tell you about that as well. First, let's talk about IELTS, whose uh, like full form is International English Language Testing System. So, dono exam ka the motive of both exams is to test your English and not very in, uh, like uh, the English uh, that is going to be required <coughs> to sustain in their country. Basically, that's the whole point. Some countries accept TOEFL, some countries take uh, IELTS, and there are some more like Australia takes something else so it is conducted by idp education so in the entire globe only two companies are there which conduct this one is british council and second is idp in india only idp is the one which is conducting the uh, mode of examination is computer and paper based right so online offline both and ielts to fees that is 15500 15500 is the fees and it is going to be conducted every month. Har sa, har mein ye hota hai. So there is not that it is going to be conducted only once in a year. Right? Ye har, har, uh, month mein hota hai. Now score range that you can score over here is 1 that is the lowest to the 9th that is the highest. And as you remember in the Singapore University and other university they have mentioned minimum score 6 is required. Yes. You know? And uh, sir, then we have uh, pattern, like uh, yes. section, how many sections we so have? So guys, there are four sections. One is related to listening, other is reading, then writing and then speaking. Hmm. You can see 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 60 minutes and 11 to 14 minutes. 
and they are the number of questions 40, 42 and 3. So you can see total 85 questions are there and definitely uh, generally listening you are going to li uh, listen a clip based on that questions are there. Okay. Uh, then reading definitely I feel you can understand uh, graphs, para uh, some paragraphs would be there by reading that you need to answer. Okay. Uh, related to like books, journal and newspaper they will be taking those. And then writing you can see uh, candidate uh, 150 words where you need to summarize, describe or explain a table graph chart hmm. so next is speaking face to face interview would be there so guys this is about the doable hai. Malab, yes, I, doable uh, hai. we can say that this is doable whatever you know this is doable for you obviously sir i feel for engineers these kind of things are not uh. impossible they very easily do that <laughs> right and then coming to the next examination which was mentioned in their uh, brochure and that is toefl test of english as a foreign language here we have conducted, this is conducted by ETS, mode of exam is again same here, paper and home test also you can give it at home also. And fees is uh, again USD, this is USD, take a US dollar, hai ye wala. Jo abhi 82 kuch ka hai, uh, but uh, whenever you are watching the video, you please convert it around 195. Earlier the fees was low, this is just, uh, this time only they have increased to 195. So here score range, all three, reading, listening, speaking, writing, 0, 030, 0, 030, 0, 030. So this is the range and let's see the pattern now. So, if we talk about the pattern here again, there will be again four things, reading, listening, break you will be given to you, speaking and writing. Timed limit is also given to you, total number of questions are given to you and from there eventually you are going to get the final score of your IELTS and as well as the same thing goes for the TOEFL, right? Uh, so guys, I feel you got a lot of information hmm. and uh, this is what makes uh, the video complete. We have told you each and everything. So uh, if you are uh, having the half information, definitely you are going to stuck at the time when you will be applying. At that time, you will get to know that my eyelets is not there. Hmm. So then you will be saying what happens to me. And I have seen those kind of doubts are there with many of the students. That's why we have made a plan to come up with such video where we can show you each and everything with authenticity. Right. Uh, this is TOEFL. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, I think uh, this is done. This is it for the video. I think, sir, we have covered everything which yes, is required. Yes, yes. Ab to bas ticket karana baki hai that, yes. uh, so, uh, but I would like to say, guys, uh, this is now your duty to uh, take this information to all those who are looking for such type of video so that they get the right information hmm. and otherwise uh, definitely they would be uh, in some dilemma and at the end time they will be facing difficulty. Correct. Just imagine, just imagine that you know how much fees is there. So uh, you are going to arrange the money, you will take loan or something, right? And then eventually when you are going to apply, then you realize that you need some more things like TOEFL or IELTS. Then again, you have to prepare for TOEFL and IELTS. And then again, it will be taking few more months for you to give the examination and then few more days to get the result. So this will be, this will be going to uh, distort the entire planning of yours. So that is the whole point why we gave you the each and every information about the admission. Now you have to just first decide which university you want to go and then go in depth and understand what are the basic requirements other than what we have taught. To, told you here. I think uh, everything we have told basic. Yes, yes. But again, then we have to know what is the university, mein kya facility, hai, swimming pool, hai ki nahi, and then that is what you can check by yourself. Yes, also. yes, yes. Right. So I think uh, we'll uh, close, the session. close the session. Thank you so much, guys, for joining the session. We'll see you in some other session again. But till then, take care of yourself and take care of your family. Have a nice day. Bye bye.